Hello, it's Salimik. Did you ever want to replace any part of your car? And before doing that, knowing exactly what to do, what tools you will need, and what are the torque spec when you're putting everything back again. Head over the link in the video description box below, choose car model, and download a full step-by-step -step guide. Or you can search the car model you need. So in today's video, we're gonna be replacing this broken upper mount on this Toyota Camry. We have a new mount here. Whenever you get an aftermarket mount, Check the rubber, it should be a bit soft to absorb the vibration. According to the manual, the bolts are 40mm and don't worry, we can remove the mount without engine moves, the lower mounts will support the engine. Just use a flat screwdriver and push it out if it was stuck. Broken mount like that will cause filling engine vibrating inside the car and if not replace it soon, it will break or damage other lower mounts. Alright, let's put the new mount back, center the holes and hand tie the bolts. We're gonna torque the bolts to 47 pound feet of torque. How easy that was when you know exactly what you need and how to do it. Next item to replace, sway bar bushing on this 2010 Mitsubishi Outlander. It will be the same for most cars. We're gonna jack up the car and put it on a jack stand. When replacing sway bar bushing, both wheels should be up in the air. It will be much easier to take the old bushings out and putting the new bushings in. After undoing two bolts, remove the plate but you can remove the sway bar bushing. So we're gonna remove the sway bar link and then sway bar gets free. Now we can raise up the sway bar and take out the old bushing. I always like to take some extra time to clean the area before installing the new bushings. Make sure to get the same size sway bar bushing. The old one was 22 and here I got 22. Otherwise it will be hard to put it on a sway bar. Or if it was bigger, you will still be able to hear suspension sound. After putting back new sway bar bushing, now we can put the sway bar link back again and torque the nut and bolts. When you know what you have to do and what tools you will need, replacing your car's part will be so easy and save some cash as well. If the video was helpful and learned something new, like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.